On the day of the African child, the world came together to discuss the path to quality, free and compulsory education for all African children at the United Nations headquarters in New York. Progress is being made, but there is a lot more to do. Africa accounts for more than half of the world's 57 million primary age children who do not go to school. Knowledge is power. Information is liberating. Education is the premise of progress in every society. On the one hand, high education enrollment rates have tripled over the last 15 years, but universities remain teaching institutions rather than the research centers that Africa so badly needs to be competitive at the global level. In the aftermath of the kidnapping of over 200 Nigerian girls from their school dormitories, the international community is more aware than ever that to ensure education for all African children, governments need to supply more than just books and teachers. Not only do we need to get the children into school, we need to protect the gains we have made. We also have to create safe and supportive learning environments to stop violence against children, especially girls. And we need to encourage gender sensitive education and hygiene and to integrate sexual and reproductive health education into the curriculum. Leading up to the event, students of Benjamin Banneker Academy in New York were introduced to the inner workings of the United Nations and its impact on Africa during a visit to the South South News headquarters. I think a day like this is important because it allows the world to be globally competent. It allows people to um, to be more aware on the what's happening in Africa. We lack a lot of resources, such as um, a lot of African children on their way to school. They don't have school buses, transportation. They walk on foot. They um, Sometimes when they go to school, it's not safe because there's not a lot of authority being, or not a lot of authority around the school. I think it's important because it tells them like that we care, like that people around the world actually care that they want to learn. While celebrating the successes made in getting more kids into school for longer, the panelists continue to encourage African governments to keep investing more in education, especially of girls, acknowledging that the road to a healthy and prosperous African continent begins with an educated population. This is Shari Naiman for South South News from the United Nations.